So now let's discuss question number 67. Perigynous flowers are found in. So if we look at the option number 4 in China rose, there is presence of hypogynous condition. Cucumber, guava, epigynous and in rose there is presence of perigynous condition in which the ovary is half superior and half inferior. So the right option is option number 1. Now question number 68, an abnormal human baby with triple X sex chromosomes are born due to, so you know that in a normal female there is presence of 2 X chromosome, now instead of the true now there is trisomy, there is presence of 3 X chromosome. So you know that such type of condition it occurs due to non-disjunction that is non-separation of chromosome. So let's see how it will happen here. In the female, due to the non-disjunction, there is formation of abnormal ova. Yes, in the abnormal ova, instead of the 1 X chromosome, there is 2 X chromosome. So the X chromosomes, they had not undergone separation. Instead of the 1X, there is presence of 2X chromosome. If we talk about the male, you know that in the male, two types of the sperms, they are formed. One which carry X chromosome, the another one which carries Y chromosome. If this abnormal ova, fuses with this normal sperm, then what would be the chromosome complement of the zygote that is a triple X. So in this question 68, so the right option is formation of abnormal ova in the mother. So now let us discuss question number 69. So question number 69, what causes a green plant exposed to the light on only one side to bend towards the source of light? So if this is the part of the green plant that is shoot, we are showing here, it is illuminated with the light from only one side. Now, due to the stimulus of light, auxin, that is a growth hormone that will show movement. So, the growth hormone will show movement from the light side towards the dark side. So, the concentration of the hormone on the light side will decrease, yes, due to the movement and here on the dark side, it will increase. Now the function of this growth hormone is elongation, so here the growth hormone is more, so here the growth hormone is more, so on the dark side elongation will be more, on this side if the elongation will be more, so what would be the result? It will result in curvature of the organ towards the direction of light. So what would be the right option? Oxygen accumulates on shaded side, stimulating greater cell elongation here. So for this question, the right option is option number 1. The question number 70, it is a very easy chromosome. We have to distinguish the chromosome on the basis of centromere. Now, in the case of metacentric chromosome, you know the centromere is present in the center, in the submetacentric, the centromere is near the center. In the acrocentric, the centromere is present near the end and in the telocentric, the centromere is at the end. 
so the chromosome in which centromere is situated close to one end so the right option is option number 3 so let's discuss next question here 